But before moving on to the discussion of improving critical thinking abilities, first, I would like to share some small piece of information with you, which says that only about 4% of people use their brain. And of that 4%, fewer than 25% do so critically. So this makes only 1% of 8 billion people around the globe who are critical thinkers. This is quite surprising, right? Well, the main reason behind this is that although most of us, although many of us are familiar with this term of critical thinking, but most of us don't know what exactly it is and how it is done. And that's why I believe that before we jump to the discussion of improving our critical thinking abilities, first we need to understand what exactly critical thinking is. So that is why we place the in-depth definition of critical thinking at the top of our objective list. After discussing the definition, we'll talk about the importance of critical thinking. Then we'll discuss the barriers to critical thinking. And at the end, we will talk about the ways to improve your critical thinking abilities. So let's start with our first objective which is that what exactly is critical thinking? To put it simply, critical thinking is an act of deliberately analyzing information so that you can make better judgments and decisions. And it is also known as the disciplined thinking because there are things like logic and reasoning to draw, which help you to draw conclusions and solve the problems more better and generally understand things in a much better way. And the most important thing in critical thinking is whenever you are presented with some important decision to make or some problem to solve, you have to ask questions before you jump to the conclusion. So let me make this more clear with an example. Uh, so yes, imagine, imagine that on your exam day, when you are getting ready for college, uh, suddenly you hear the news that your beloved grandmother has passed away and now your family is going to pay her a visit. So in such situation, what will you do now? Will you take your exam or will you just go and visit your dead grandmother's grave? Well, if you are about to think critically and logically, you will first think, what is more important for me? And what will be the consequences if I just leave the exam and visit my grandmother's grave or do the opposite? And during this, you will also take use of the information that you already know. For example, you know, we know that uh, it won't affect a dead person, either you visit him today or tomorrow, right? So after thinking all of this, you will finally make the decision that, OK, today I'll just go and give my exam. And tomorrow or after the exam, I will visit my grandmom's grave. So this is all from my side. And from here onwards, I invite Muhammad Umar to take from here onwards. Thank you. as Today, I'm going to enlighten the importance of critical thinking and highlight a few remarkable advantages we get through critical thinking. The need for man to invent new technologies is as old as humanity itself. In the past centuries, the efforts and achievements of different engineers made enormous impact on the world we live in today. As all of you very well know that Charles Babbage invented one of the first computers, Graham Bell helped to invent the modern telephone, and James Watt perfected the steam engine. Do you know how they achieved success and became unforgettable in history? What was the common habit in all of them? Well, they were all critical thinkers. Critical thinking makes you the brightest and outstanding person compared with others. Now, I'm going to explain the significance of critical thinking. First, I would say that quick and accurate decision making go hand in hand with critical thinking. 
it leads to a replicable process for planning researching presenting ideas and recommendations the final decisions are too accurate and are difficult to be challenged by anyone it is important to mention here that critical thinking mindset saves time it teaches you how to prioritize your time and resources by analyzing what is essential to the process secondly critical thinking provides a full proof decision which can't be objected it provides decision makers the assurance that your recommendations are based on a process of critical thought with a sound critical thinking process others may not agree with your recommendations but they can't find fault in the process lastly by adopting the habit of critical thinking an engineer leads to professionalism your critical thinking will naturally help you to achieve the right decision and this will in turn make it easier for you to explain this to others now i will highlight the skills needed for critical thinking well critical thinking allows an engineer to address and understand situation based on all available facts and information when using these skills the engineer will sort and organize data and other information to define a problem and then de develop effective solutions now i will describe in detail the skills that an engineer needs in order to be able to think critically first skill needed is observation and it is the starting point for critical thinking engineers who are observant can quickly sense and identify a new problem those skilled in observations are so capable of understanding why something might be a problem and may even be able to predict when a problem might occur secondly analysis is important once a problem has been identified analytical skills become essential the ability to analyze the situation includes knowing which facts data or information about the problem are important you will find analysis as an essential skill to eventually solve the problem thirdly interpretation is a skill that involves drawing conclusions about the information an engineer collects and may require him to possess technical or industry specific knowledge or experience when he interprets information about a situation that means he is developing answer based on information fourthly after you have identified a problem analyze it and discuss possible solutions the final step is to execute the solution problem solving often requires critical thinking to implement the best solution and understand whether or not the solution is working as it relates to the goal last but not the least decision making is the key part of critical thinking the ultimate goal of decision making is to arrive at final conclusions here i especially mention some names in scientific history who used critical thinking to change the world we all know albert einstein it's fair to say that he was using critical thinking skills during the 10 years that it took him to create his theory of general relativity einstein could see that these details deserve further investigation in order to develop his theory he first observed and then analyzed the facts then he interpreted and evaluated the facts afterwards he solved the problems and drew final conclusions to sum up i would say that an engineer must follow and adopt the above mentioned skills in order to excel in his professional life now this is all from my side now i would request my group mate mr ramish to carry on from here in this part of the presentation i am going to implement some critical skill and tell you some barriers and good habits to improve your critical thinking go to mentimeter.com use this code 615040 and find the oldest figure among these meanwhile i am going to tell you some hints and tricks to solve a question like this you should observe analyze how why what my aim is in this question you should think what odd number is how something is odd Secondly, think: Is this the right way? Is my goal achieved? Is this figure really the odd one? If you are totally convinced that you are right, then success is ahead, more surely. Otherwise, repeat everything. Think more critically. Now, let me tell you the correct answer.
If you think this question critically, you will eventually know one thing that all figures are odd. He said, first one. Why is that? Because it is the only object that do not have an individual trait. So, oddest one is that which is not odd. Let us look why we can not think critically. Just think your sadness and your laziness make you feel heavy. And you, your manager is saying that you have to complete everything today. How can you think critically in this situation? Plus your group members or your colleagues are calling you. Mostly they will argue each other and do nothing. It will cost your time and your burden will increase. Too many cooks spoil the soup. Apply applies to this area of group thinking. You don't know anything. What are you doing? Yet you are saying you know everything. How can you think anything if you don't know anything? So arrogance is also a barrier to, group, to critical thinking. Now I'm going to tell you some habits. Think critically. What should you do to think critically? Well, you have to firstly question everything. That how, why, when, what to do. Secondly, make a habit to reason the logic such as why the sky blue? Why the earth is wrong? How the earth is wrong? Is it because of gravity? Always try to think outside the box. Try to think differently. More diversity of thoughts produce more force to think critically. So make a habit to do it. This is all from my side. Now Amna will continue the presentation. Just imagine you are going on a plane for a trip and it is crashed on an an inhabited island. There are 15 things on that plane. You can only take five things for survival on that island. You have five minutes to choose. Otherwise, plane will explode in a few minutes. You will have to choose things uh, things for survival of seven days. Then a plane will come to pick you up. Then what do you choose? The available resources are. Box of matches, carrot of beer, twelve bottle of water, five warm sweater, first aid kit, axe, gun with twenty bullets, bullets, bag with twenty five magazine, inflatable life board for four people, compass, antise antiseptic spray, sewing kit, flashlight, bag with five with blankets, transistor radio. Now go to mentimeter. dot com and use the code eleven forty seven eleven. We will see the results in a while. Today I am here to explain you the tricks and techniques to how engineers can improve the critical thinking abilities. Next slide, please. The first step is very demanding. that is ask questions i sometimes find myself shying away from questions they can make me feel like a bit of dummy especially when whoever is fielding them is not receptive but mostly i can't help myself i just need to know and you once you go down that rabbit hole you you not only learn more but often discover whole new ways of thinking about about things Now the second step is do your research. All the information that gets thrown at us on a daily basis can be enormous. But if you decide to take matters into your own hands, and it can also be very helpful too. The more information, the better prepared you will be to think things through and come up with a reasonable answer to your query. The next step is don't assume you are right. Everyone has a desire to be right because it feels awesome, but it often puts you on the wrong track when it comes thinking critically. Because if you don't take in other perspective and think them over and compare to your own, this means that you are not thinking critically. The next step is very helpful, which is 
break it down since most problems are too big to solve all at once but they can be broken down into smaller parts the smaller the parts the easier it will be to evaluate them individually and arrive at a solution this is essentially what scientists do they before understanding bigger systems such as our bodies or an ecosystem they have to understand all the parts of that system and the last step is keep it simple it it means that finding the simplest explanation that fits all the facts is just plain common sense sure it's possible that the high price skin cream on tv will make you look 20 years younger even though you have never heard of it and neither has anyone else but more likely is that that the model shown in the ad really is 20 years old now i am moving towards very interesting information that you might not known before that is national and international training for engineers there has been a lot of focus on seminars and training workshops nationally and internationally to improve planning and critical thinking of engineers nationally we have the pakistan engineering council and world over unesco to train engineers now the unesco report unesco organizes training workshops to enhance effective communication team work professionalism and critical thinking pack training program the main objective of pack is to develop competence and ability of engineers for the application of theoretical knowledge to practical solutions and to evolve innovation solutions to real life problems cpd continuing professional development is the means by which member of professional bodies maintain improve and broaden their knowledge and skills for developing personal qualities required in their professional lives what is red technique red in red technique r means recognize assumptions e means evaluate arguments and d mean draw conclusions now the traits of undisciplined now the traits of successful engineer or disciplined mind are intellectual integrity humility sense of justice perseverance fair mindedness confidence in reason courage empathy and autonomy now the traits of undisciplined mind or unsuccessful engineer are intellectual hypocrisy arrogance unfairness laziness disregard for justice distrust of reason self centeredness and conformity now critical thinking process as you know that none of us critically think all the time we are in hurry most of our time as we have to submit our pcb pf and ec assignments and we are in a race of earning grades only not learning so a few of us succeed succeed to think critically considering all these situation i am suggesting this simple exercise to you to start thinking critically now think of something that someone has recently told you then ask yourself the following questions who said it someone you know someone in a position of authority or power what did they say did they give facts or opinions did they provide all the facts where did they say it was it in public or in private when did they say it was it before during or after an important event is timing important when did they say it? did they explain the reasoning behind their opinion how did they say it? were were they happy or sad angry or indifferent let me introduce another term passive thinking that is totally opposite to critical thinking passive thinking is taking things as they come and not really asking questions or analyzing the information presented for its value now the result of activity let's see what have you all decided to choose only a few 
pupil succeed to think critically because most of you choose your survival item for 7 days but minority think critically and to escape away from that island they choose the resources which could help them for that purpose so the correct answer is gun with 20 bullets for safety purpose the second one is, one is inflatable life board for four people to this is for to escape out from that island because there is no surety that the plane will come and pick you now the third is one is compass to find direction and the fourth one is flashlight to use at night and the last one is transistor radio to communicate after all these details along with authentic facts and figures i have just one question and the question is do you want to achieve success by improving your critical thinking or you want a failure by using passive thinking now the decision is yours best of luck and thank you for your precious time we are going to talk about how engineers can improve their critical thinking abilities the contents we should cover today are what is critical thinking importance and way to improve it let's begin all the students are saying about option a which is start preparing because they are sincere what they are doing and they are careful to their future now i would invite mr mohammad usman to tell you about what the critical thinking is thank you gulkhan assalamu alaikum my name is mohammad usman and i am going to discuss today introduction to critical thinking first of all what do you mean by critical thinking it is basically to think clearly and rationally with the evaluation of factual evidence and to understand ideas logically with the analysis of facts to form a judgment now i am going to discuss how critical thinking is a part of our life for example in a personal life to decide what contributes a healthy diet and which investment is better for my family and why in professional life for instance in what ways we can improve our product or how do the actions of our company affect others or the environment in academic life what are the main points of this text or which major should i choose and why critical thinking also surrounds our spiritual life like how do these teachings apply to my life and are there contra uh, contradictions in what is being said these photographs are illustrating some practical examples of critical thinking in the first picture this person went up on a tree to cut its branch then i remembered which side of the branch to sit on but i forgot about the ladder he must have thought critically beforehand in the second picture on right this person must have thought critically about his standing position before cutting the rope a bar graph is shown in front of you in which cla scores are discussed cla is basically a test that measures the critical thinking and complex reasoning related to employment after graduation the first graph is saying that the probability of unemployment after 2 years of graduation is higher for low cla scorers as compared to high cla scorers In the second bar graph, the probability of having experienced job loss in the preceding year is greater for low CLS scorers relatively to high CLS scorers graduate. The final graph explaining that the probability of working in an unskilled occupation is higher for low CLS scorers as compared to high CLS scorers after two years of graduation. Now I would like to invite Ms. Marwa to continue. Thank you, Muhammad Usman. Assalamu alaikum myself Marwa Wasim and I'll be discussing the importance of critical thinking. Do you guys know that according to our research critical thinking is the second most valued skill in 2020? Wow, now that's interesting. Critical thinking improves the domain general thinking skill. It means that a critical thinker's brain can support learning to a broad level regardless of the type of information being learned. Critical thinker Critical thinking provides us the new knowledge of economy. Are you guys aware about the new strategy of multinational companies? Multinational companies like Coke, Nestle and many others hire data analytics before launching any marketing campaigns. 
Data analytics are paid handsomely to critically analyze the earnings and predict the future sales on the basis of current trends. Critical thinkers are fluent in their language as they discuss a lot and they are great, great presenters as they work a lot on themselves. Critical uh, thinkers promote creativity. Critical thinkers, first of all, there were only two valued mainstream fields that was medical and engineering, but now only creativity is valued, which is measured on the basis of originality of the content. Critical thinker are uh, critical thinking improves our uh, self reflection. Critical thinkers are serious about one's character and actions. Critical thinking is the basis of science and democratic society as it helps in uh, experimentation and evaluation. Now, there is a, a quotation of very well known Albert Einstein that is We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. It means that when we start thinking, we think about some uh, uh, some questions raised in our mind, but we cannot solve the, those questions with the same thinking. Professional engineers don't discuss problems. They discuss the solutions. Critical thinking helps us to think out of the box. Critical thinkers have a better understanding of the gray area between black and white. They don't see the world as only black and white. They can see the complexities behind it. It means that they recognize the variety of possible understandings. There is a very trending Netflix series, Dark, and there are very famous sci-fi movies like The Martian, which gives us a perfect, perfect example of how critical thinkers can challenge their beliefs and think about the complexities of the world and linkages between different things. Now, when we compare critical thinkers with non-critical thinkers, we start judging, and the judgment gives us a few facts that are The critical thinkers are uh, skeptical. It means the critical thinkers are great uh, questioners. They question about everything, who, when, how, and where. Critical thinkers are active thinkers. They don't take egoistical view of the world. They are open to new ideas. They are more precise, more meticulous, and more comprehensive. Whereas non-critical thinkers take their facts as only relevant ones, take their perspective as only sensible ones, and take their goal as the only valid one. Now, I'd like to discuss the thinking of critical thinkers. Critical thinkers share the same conception that is work smarter, not harder. Smart work is like putting minimum effort which causes maximum impact on the result. Critical thinkers are more conceptual and more realistic and can make decisions without wasting time. They usually uh, they usually know the pros and cons of their decision and don't indulge themselves in irrelevant thoughts. Now I'd like to share a graph with you, people, that shows the demand of different skills in advertisements over the past three years. And here it is: critical thinking is the second most valued skill, which is at 158 percent, and it is demanded a lot by the ad uh, advertisement different companies. And the more interesting fact is that presentation skill, creativity, and digital literacy, it's nothing without critical thinking. If you cannot think critically, you cannot achieve the all, all other skills. Now, to conclude this part of the presentation, I'd like to share a little meme with you all. Let's review some concepts. Now, uh, mainstream engineers are just like noob, noob SpongeBob. They're bookworms and, and they're reluctant to discuss ideas and they're reluctant to think differently. But engineers with basic communication skills are far better as they know how to walk and how to talk and they, they know how to discuss the problems and find out the solution. But when we're talking about the big brains or we're talking about the smartest engineers on the planet, we're talking about engineers with communication skills and critical thinking abilities. Now that's all from my side. I'd like uh, Mr. Ashir Ahad to conclude this presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Marwa. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Ashir Ahad, and I will tell you some tips and tricks to improve critical thinking. First of all, let's play a game. Be ready, guys, because you have to use the core of your brain to figure out this game. So let's start the game. Look at this picture. And tell me, what should be the number under the car according to the given sequence? Come on, guys. I need some answers in the chat box. Okay. We have got some answers. And they all are true. But it will be easier for us if we rotate this picture about 180 degree. It 
will be a lot, lot easier for us. So the thing is, you have to see a problem from a different angle. Okay, let's move towards the next game. In this game, I will give you a condition and you have to choose the right option. Suppose you are in a dark room and you have only one matchstick with you. But luckily, there is a candle, an oil lamp and a gas stove. Which one do you like first? Answers in the chat box, please. The correct answer is the matchstick. You see, first you have to analyze a problem and then you have to think about the solution. And that's critical thinking. Critical thinking is a metacognitive skill. What this means is that it is a high level cognitive skill that involves thinking about thinking. We have to be aware of good principles of reasoning and be reflective about our own reasoning. The mastery of critical thinking is similar to mastery of many other skills. There are three important components, theory, practice, and attitude. First of all, theory. If we want to think correctly, we need to follow the correct rules of reasoning. Knowledge of theory include knowledge of these rules. These are the basic principles of critical thinking, such as the laws of logic, and the method of scientific reasoning, etc. Also, it would be helpful to know something about what not to do if we want to reason correctly. This means we should have some basic knowledge of the mistakes that people make. First, this requires some knowledge of typical fallacies. Second, psychologists have discovered persistent biases and limitation in human reasoning. And awareness of these empirical findings will alert us to potential problems. Next one is practice. However, merely knowing the principles that distinguish good and bad reasoning is not enough. To be good at critical thinking skill, it is necessary to internalize the theoretical principles so that we can actually apply them in our daily life. There are at least two ways. One is to do lots of good quality exercises. Exercises include not just exercises in classroom and tutorials. They also include exercises in the form of discussion and debates with other people in our daily life. The other method is to think more deeply about the principles that we have acquired. In the human mind, memory and understanding are acquired through making connection between ideas. Next one is attitude. Good critical thinking skill require not just knowledge and practice. Persistent practice can bring about improvement only if one has the right kind of motivation and attitude. The following attitudes are not uncommon, but they are obstacles to critical thinking. Such as, I prefer being given the correct answer rather than figuring them out myself or I don't like to be criticized. As mentioned earlier, psychologists have discovered over the years that human reasoning can be easily affected by all kinds of cognitive biases. For example, people tend to be overconfident of their abilities and focus too much on evidence that supports their pre-existing opinions. We should be alert to these biases in our attitudes towards our own thinking. Now, we came to the part I'm sure you all have been waiting for. How the heck do we get better at critical thinking? Below, you will find seven ways to get started. Number one, ask basic questions. The world is complicated, but does every problem require a complicated solution? Sometimes an explanation becomes so complex that the original question gets lost. To avoid this, continually go back to the basic questions you ask when you set out to solve the solution. I would suggest to seek the simple solution first. Number two, question basic assumptions. Some of the greatest innovators in human history were those who simply looked up for a moment and wondered if one of everyone's general assumption was wrong. From Newton to Einstein, questioning assumptions is where innovation happens. 
Number three, be aware of your mental processes. Human thought is amazing, but the speed and automation with which it happens can be a disadvantage when we are trying to think critically. All of us have biases in our thinking. Becoming aware of them is what makes critical thinking possible. Number four, try reversing things. A great way to unstuck on a hard problem is to try reversing things. It may seem obvious that X causes Y, but what if Y caused X? The chicken and egg problem is a classic example of this. At first, it seems obvious that the chicken had to come first. The chicken lays the eggs after all, but then you quickly realize that the chicken had to that the chicken had to come from somewhere. And since chicken came from eggs, the egg must have come first. Number five, evaluate the existing evidence. When you are trying to solve a problem, it's always helpful to look at other works that has been done in the same area. There's no reason to start solving a problem from scratch when someone has already laid the groundwork. It's important, however, to evaluate this information critically or else you can easily reach the wrong solution. Number six, remember to think for yourself. Don't get so bogged down in research and reading that you forgot to think for yourself. Sometimes this can be your most, most powerful tool. And last one, number seven, understand that no one thinks 100% critically all the time. You, you can think critically all the time. And that's okay. Critical thinking is a tool that you should deploy when you need to make important decisions or solve difficult problems. But you don't need to think critically about everything. In the end, I would like to say that the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing by Albert Einstein. Thank you, everyone. That's all from our side. And if you have any question or query, we would love to answer that.